How's it going YouTube? My name is Rewind the Gamer and today I have Rewind's review for you guys and in this one I am going to be looking at the team of the season Marek Hamšík and I have him at a center forward in a 4-2-3-1 Serie A squad and I, I think I paid about 350k for him and um, in 18 games he scored 21 goals for me. He's got 4 star weak foot, 3 star skills, card stats, 90 dribbling, 82 pace, 90, uh, 91 passing, 89 shooting, 77 defending, 84 heading, and uh, stands 6 feet tall. And to move on to his in-game stats, he's got 95 ball control, 89 crossing, 92 curve, 91 dribbling, 91 finishing, 87 in both heading accuracy and long pass, 93 long shots as well as 70 marking. And uh, moving on downward, he has 93 penalties, 96 short pass, 91 shot power, as well as 92 volleys and a uh, high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, four stars, weak foot, three star skills, like I said earlier, 86 acceleration and agility, only 65 balance, but uh, 96 reactions, 82 sprint speed, 93 stamina, 84 attack positioning, and 86 vision. Now to move on to my actual review about him, there are a couple of things that I noticed right off the bat with him, and that was his amazing dribbling. Uh, for somebody who stands six feet tall, he has surprising agility and can really maneuver himself around a team's defense and midfield and uh, it took me a little while to figure out how to use him properly with um, you know the set of skills that he has but once I kind of got used to him he turned out to be one of my new favorite players uh, I really enjoy dribbling with him and just keeping the ball he's really really good at keeping the ball away from defenders he has 79 strength as well so being big and strong and being able to dribble like this is uh something that i'm not very used to in ultimate team you know i haven't really tried the likes of ronaldo and um well i have used ibrahimovic but um yeah, actually he kind of does remind me a bit like uh, a bit of ibra but um anyway uh these highlights there's going to be a lot of variety in these there's going to be goals there's going to be assists there's going to be nice plays that he's involved in and uh you know i didn't really there's there's just a lot more that um, he can do than just score goals. Um, he's probably the most versatile player I've ever used in Ultimate Team. Uh, you can play him anywhere along the central midfield. Uh, don't play him out wide. It's a waste if you're going to play him in like a 4-2-2 or a 4-2-3-1 uh, CAM. So, yeah, just don't do not do that. You're wasting your coins if you do. But, um, yeah, he, he really dominates the central midfield. And... Uh, Playing him at center forward, though, he, he does push up quite high, uh, high attacking work rate. And um, you do lose out on his defensive capabilities, but uh, like I said in my, my full game that I played with him, he I, I'm completely fine with making that sacrifice because, uh, you know, having good CDMs and having him in front of them, it's just a really complete package that you get. And, um, yeah, he, he's just all around really solid defensive stats. Um great dribbling great passing and I really can't say enough about him there are some downfalls though um, first one would be pace he only has 82 pace on his card but um, it does feel a bit slower he doesn't seem nearly as fast as other players with like 80 pace so um, yeah, that's just one drawback he does make amazing runs and if you have him at a center forward with um, a striker who might not be that fast the two of them interchange a bit and Hamshit can really tear up a defense, um, even though his pace isn't that great. So, I mean, it's kind of off and on. It depends on who you're playing against. But I really think that he makes some really nice runs. His attack positioning is high, which is nice. And um, some other things about him would be that uh, some of the bad things about him are that he, he gets tired really quickly. First game I ever played with him, he lost 7 fitness, which is uh, really unfortunate. But um, if, you, if you don't mind buying... Uh, fitness cards a bunch then you know totally go ahead and um, it's not that big of a deal but totally go ahead and buy them and uh, the other thing was that his first touch was kind of off and on but um, really I don't think it was too big of an issue and um, yeah to to recap what I to, what I think the main things about him he has really nice shooting anything on the top of the box he can put away his finishing is surprisingly good I didn't even really like his center uh, his second in form I tried at a center forward 4-2-3-1 as well. I didn't really like it. So it's a, it's nice to see an improvement there. Um, amazing passing, amazing dribbling. Um, it's crazy that somebody his size can maneuver around defense as well as he can. And um, yeah, that's really, that's really all I have for you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And in all, I rate 
Team of the Season Hamshake a, a 9 out of 10. So uh, this has been Rewind the Gamer. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.